Are we alright? Yeah. Yeah, we good? Yeah. We good? Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. We're here for the uh, the last 16 of the men's singles here at the Black Ball Nationals in Canberra. We've got on the right we have Jaisley Dimmer and Bronson Blackmore, and on the left we have Bro Shields and Jason Tanescovich. Very high caliber of player here, and races to seven, so. Looking forward to this. Uh, just looking at Bro on the left here, it looks like he's on the, the yellows. Uh, maybe he isn't. He's on the reds. <laughs> and uh, the reds, reds look not too bad. He's just got to find a way to get on this. One on the left here. Near the black, just pick the gap there. And I'm joined here by, in a moment, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are on Wednesday the 17th. Just clicked over on the, the midday session for the singles. And uh, on the right hand side table, table Already one. Already done all that. <laughs> I was about to uh, about to intro what he's going to do on his next shot, but yes. Wasn't going to be intro. Oh, I thought you were saying who the players were. No, sir. Oh, Jaisley's um, missed. A little bit of miss on the, uh, on the Jaisley Dimer there. So, killed his red. But uh, this will be questionable to see whether he gets back to the table. Yeah, there's a huge advantage here for Brunson. And Bro on the left hand side on the Reds. He's, he's got a bit of work to do. He's got to find a way to get on this ball on the he's left hand side. And he's got a. If he can. He's played the long pot well. Yep. Now, I guess from here, he's either got the, uh, the blind pocket over onto the bottom right-hand side and running the white ball onto the left-hand side of the table. He has to run the risk of sinking himself in the yellows, but looks like he's going to be lining up the red that's next to the black. He'll be screwing back, mm. but he's going to have to be queuing over he the cushion. We just had coffee delivery from a lovely gentleman at the Harmony Club. Is yours? Oh, that is hot. How has he carried that? Oh my god. With the Terminator delivering the coffee because he's got metal hands. So Bronson's played a little bit of a poor shot there actually. The landing um, just above the ball close to the cushion here is going to hamper his queuing. I suppose there's two choices here. He's going to be playing quite a thin cut to the right hand side middle or he can potentially play the yellow off the red to open up that yellow into the middle pocket. 
got Jason Tanaskovic who has just started to open up on the yellow balls, taking the easy ball to the middle. Yeah, Bro missed the pot there and I can't see Jason having much of an issue <coughs> on the yellows here. Looks like we're going to see Brunson play this ball long? on the left hand side. Or is he cutting it to the middle? middle. Oh, he's cutting I it. still think that was the right shot. That is a nice shot. He's played that. Well, he's, he has left a. He's actually <laughs> left a difficult, but an out on. He was playing for the pot there, as you can see on his face. Um, mm -hmm. The pot was the right shot all day long. Jason's in fine form. He. Uh, I haven't seen him miss much, no. actually, over, over this weekend. He's, um, He's getting him really nice. Definitely a star player out there for ACT. A bit harder to make the ACT state team uh, than it is in New Jason's South Wales. Going for Hollywood there. And that's a good shot. He's got a chance here. He's, I mean, he's got a very small window to land in for this remaining red. I think the right shot here is to be playing that red to the top right hand pocket with top but trying to land on the left hand side of the red and potentially play either you could either play a plant into the yellow but I think you'd be playing to the middle pocket on the right hand side the way I'd yeah, be going the, about the, it. I'm sure you'll be trying he's to just, land on it to the middle. Which he he's has actually done. Hit he's, that perfectly. He's picked it up and placed it there. May have almost hit that too Wonder perfectly. The, uh, skim across it's actually skim a little across bit, the front side of the yellow. I'm a little bit disgusted by that shot actually. This is what he does though. Looks like he's going to come back for the ball. Makes no mistake here. And Bronson will be certainly feeling it after that uh, getting out of position. It just cost him. Had a more difficult shot than he would have had. And what could have been straightforward out? First round, early days. Mm. <coughs> Here's Dan. Bronson with will the not be overly happy about that. Coming in with the replay here. We've got Jason who's run a little bit out of position here. Yeah, right you're right, he has. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be trying to land on it. He has to run the risk of landing off the young ball. Yeah, perfectly. He's picked it up and placed it there. May have almost hit that. Uh, it does look like he'll go under the black, but he's, he's just going to have... There's potentially going to be a fair bit of distance between the white and his remaining yellow. Taking his time on the shot, so he's going to try to avoid hitting it full ball. He's got the red. This is now a tough shot. It's a very difficult shot running this down. Mm. JC on the break, come up dry, Bronson to the table. This is an important first frame here on the left. Hardest frame to win is the first one, and uh, they've both had a go, and they've both. Made it tough. Easiest game to lose is the first one. Hardest frame to win is the last one, generally. Generally, most, most of the first frames you lose it, you don't, you don't normally win it on in these types of tournaments. You're uh, usually feeling out your own shots and seeing where your queuing action is at. Yeah. Chopping up yourself and letting your opponent you have it. you don't really get any practice time in these, these events, unless you show up very early. Has been a bit of a difficulty on, on these events. There's been no free tables. The events being quite full, um, pretty well run actually. We had uh, that's a great shot by it's a great effort, Jason, and he and he's landed there. quite nicely. I think Bro would be happy to come to the table here. And I think from from here playing the red on the left hand side, you can just pop it up to play the red to the middle on the right hand side. Comfortability factor of Bro though, he may play this, this he may just, play up the table. It'll just depend. Come on off the cushion. Yeah. <coughs> You have to do a little bit of work with the white though on both so of those Bronson shots. with the free shot there that he had off the break. It looks like he tried to pot that yellow with the red. Well, actually, I'm not sure what he tried to do, but it, I we'll doubt just, that's we'll what he wanted. We'll just commentate wanted. on separate tables now, shall we? <laughs> oh, well, I'm just looking at that one over there and thinking that's, that's over and we can move back to this one. It's a great shot, my bro. And here is, here is the testing shot. This is what builds the confidence in your first frames. Not a difficult black, but putting it down in the pocket will make you feel a lot better. He's played the shot to nothing as well, so you can, you can see here he's played it with confidence. Yep. 
good mother there off the mistake by Jason. And those types of things, they need to be punished, especially at this late in the game. So Bronson taking uh, quite a bit more time than what he usually does. He's not the slowest player, but uh, he's definitely thinking this through. Obviously, the uh, the shot in the previous round that we saw from J.C. Dimer would be playing in his head still. Um, but as a seasoned player, you would you know him well enough where he'll be putting that out of his mind. Positional play is where we ought to be sitting in his head. He's missed that by quite a bit, and he's taken the jag. Sorry, I said he the missed hand that. Up on the apology. He played some sort of fancy double there. Hasn't left himself too much. I would not be surprised if he played some sort of safety here. He's going to have to play Given a safety. Given the position yeah. of his ball, even even the plant. Unless the only the only way the only way he's still going out here is if he's going to play that plant. He has to play it hard to try and bounce the yellow out. Otherwise, he's going to sit it behind the red and the yeah, black. The yellow which looks is not like ideal. It's, if he hits the, it looks like he's going to hit the red and sort of stay. Sean Partridge, Shane Saylor, Taylor. That's not too bad. That's worked out. That's worked out for you. He said he left himself glued to the yellow. So that's a brilliant safety in the end. He's going to have to pull something out here. Hmm? <laughs> he played for the pot. I'm <laughs> and aware. Ended, ended with the safety. I'm aware. <laughs> but uh, this is this is going to be a uh, a difficult recovery from Jace Lee. This is going to have to be a run it up the table. I think he might play the double from the red on the left hand side, trying to aim for the for the red on the bottom of the two there. Oh, that's that's. Pretty clever. That's a um, that's a brilliant shot. So now he's got now he's got a chance to win the frame, Jace Lee, because he's he's made it so that two of Bronson's balls are tied up on the right hand side there. And Bronson is going to be looking for ways to get those balls out. I think he might, he might have to try and claim this pocket on the right hand side with that ball above the red. I'm not sure how he can do that without potting it, but he's he's got I think if he's coming the into the red, coming into the red first and then into the jaw, it'll uh, it'll sit pretty he'll over. Looks like he's going to go he's up, going up and down. This, to do is, it. this is an interesting shot choice. Yeah. Looks like he's going to be trying to pop this though. This makes a bit of makes a bit of sense because he. He doesn't really want to be potting. That's not bad. That's not bad. Great leave as well. I don't quite like that shot much, to be honest. It's uh, it's it, it leaves leaves an easy part length of the table and being able to come back down for the balls. You don't you don't have to necessarily come down to the bottom of the table initially, but uh, you can use these middle balls to play all the way down. And then essentially you've got one shot on the red that's on the bottom rail by the jaw comes off the yellow. That yellow then nicks into those other reds. You've just opened up that pocket. You've opened up your balls into one shot. That's all true. But the only other option he really had was potting this ball along the rail into his ball over the hole to try and get position to play maybe a little bit of a better safety. And, I, and if he does that, there was a chance that that ball along the rail could spit out anywhere and go pear-shaped. So that's, I think, why he took on the up and down rather than doing that. And as a result, he's had a little bit less control over it, and it's not maybe gone as well as it hoped. Lovely shot. Just it in. Now that's, he's that's got complete brilliant. control of the frame. Now, this is black ball, so if Brunson can find a way to pot a ball and go into this red on the right hand side, he can reclaim the pocket. But that's going to be very difficult, given where his balls are. So what are you thinking Brunson can do to get control of this frame back? So this is going to be one of these difficult frames where he's going to have to claw it back. He is realistically going to have to leave white ball high up on the table um, on this yellow that's on the left-hand side of the black, but it's, it's initially getting there that's going to be the problem, having to put the white into that right hand corner. He's done the run of the table, he's going to leave it up to JC to, to play these balls. That's not a bad shot. You just done that real nice. You've got a decent white ball and he's 
Remove that yellow from this right hand side pocket. So he's only got one yellow in there now. Granted it is very much in there. It's an ACT guy. <laughs> got the old comments by Mark Owens there. GFI Mark Owens. Good morning. And that I'm not too sure about that shots is. like that. I do. I thought. I thought the uh, the rules on these for for black balls on the intentional fouls um, are questionable. Uh, questionable on calls. It's, you uh, can never call that because he could always be going for the skill shot. And also in this situation, he clearly was going for the skill shot because there's virtually no benefit for what just happened. It's actually handed the which initiative means he doesn't have massively to play the balls back on the right, to Johnson on the right hand side. So this, this, type of, the, this type of frame giving him the free ball. Yeah, it's a huge advantage to Bronson now. The, the plane is completely turned on its head in one shot because he will be looking to pop this red over the hole here and now he will have his yellow behind the red and have control over that pocket. So that's a pretty big error there by Jace Lee in the early stages here. Is it Jace Lee or Jace Lee? We will have it as Jace Lee. Shall we? Might just be easier. How about just so we can at least be right half the time? We say it differently every time we say it. So Jazzly, Jaisley, Jeezly? Oh yeah. Jizzly. Maybe we avoid that one. We'll definitely avoid that one. So this one quite hard to tell if that is opened up on the yellow. Can you see actually past the screens? It goes. Yep. You can see. Excellent. Mark Owens to the white, table five, please. So I wonder if Brunson is going to be looking to go here. Absolutely, he'll be going out. He'll be pushing the yellow over to the left-hand pocket, running the white ball high just past the black. Um, he'll want to then play the yellow that's to the left-hand side just underneath the black. Dolly the white ball down, he'll leave himself on the two options between the yellow to the left-hand side pocket or the yellow on the right-hand side. Or he'll I, go completely I, opposite and just play the lower I ball. Like, I like this. I think this is a much safer option because this ball was always going to be very difficult to get on. And if he's able to pot it here, he's got a much easier finish. Now all he has to do is find a way to get on this ball on the bottom, which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, this is this is the shot here. This is the shot here. Either way, playing it to the top of the top left or the right hand side pocket. This top yellow is going to leave him on the left hand side of the table, regardless. He actually might be on this little bottom right hand. Oh, if he's on this to side. the bottom right, then that simplifies things. Absolutely. Somewhat. But he will take his hard balls first. It is uh, one of Brunson's one of Brunson's strengths. Is he takes his very very hard balls first. Um, he might be stunning across to get to the left hand side of the table, so he's got a. A cut. No, never mind, he's played a safety. Don't blame him for that. Don't blame him for that. Don't mind that. Um, Don't mind that. Because they Don't were. Mind that. It was a difficult pot, either way. Not that he's not, uh, not that he's not capable of it, though. No. Oh, Bronson, he's uh, last year's Australian black ball champion. Um, he's made the Queensland state team in the prior years, just before COVID. Oh, that's a good shot by Jesse. Really buried the yellow in there, so that Brunson now cannot go go game anymore. This has tied up that frame. So while that frame is tied up, I might jump over to the Bro and Jason table just to give them a little bit of love and airtime. So it looks like Bro is on the, the red balls. So having a look, can we get a little bit of a bird's eye view on Table one, please, sir. Thank you. Looks like he can squeeze past that on the left-hand side on the red. But uh, the top red, I, think, yeah. I think the I think the ball to the right-hand side, just by the middle, is going to be the, the trick here. Which is, he's played it here. I wish we spent a little bit more time. Clever shot there. Watch there. He's um well, shot. It's a little bit dicey. So whether whether he runs whether he runs top on this to play the red ball down to the left bottom to the left bottom, otherwise no, so I, bro, I believe he's played for back. this because uh, if he took it onto the middle and missed it, he's left the frame wide open. Whereas if he takes it this way, he's got the insurance of covering the hole. And now he's got a rather simple finish. So just I like what careful, he did there. Just got to be careful of the glance off the yellow here. Yeah, you're correct. 
he flicks, flicks the white ball too high, he's in a little bit of trouble. But uh, He can play like it more positively um, with a little bit of backspin to come up the table to guarantee that he's on the next red, but it will be a harder plot if he does that. So he's got decent enough angle to come into it, fairly full ball. I think if anything he'll be coming into it three quarters. Yeah. Perfect. And, uh, well, I wonder if he can pot this cleaner, if he needs to throw it in with a bit of side. Can we see the bird's eye view on the left-hand side, please, Dan? This looks fine. Uh, he's got a, this, got a flush. Yeah, he's playing a bit of side on it, so maybe he does yep. need to throw it in a little bit. See that nice. And Landed a little bit high on the black. Yes. These are certainly in Bro's repertoire, though. These I've are, seen him pot you know, a lot of these over his time. These are little testers, these. See how he's feeling. This goes in the centre of the pocket. I think he's flying. That'll be his confidence boost for the match. And you see that lovely That's a great shot. Next shot. Now this puts this puts Jason in a little bit of a, in a little bit of pressure here. So Jason's yeah. played in, in several state teams for, for ACT. He's um, quite a well-known face around the uh, around the state here. What a lovely state the ACT is, guys, as well. Canberra is a beautiful city. Um, it's about the only only capital city we have here in, in Australia that essentially makes sense in terms of the roadworks and where, and where you go with the roads. Food is brilliant. We like that. We've just seen uh, the match between Bronson and Jace where Bronson may have been trying to go into the right-hand side of the balls. I think he really needs to hit that quite a bit harder to create that angle to come into that. And uh, there really wasn't any risk of him not coming into that on a smash, having a yellow ball over the left-hand pocket. Yeah, Bronson is <coughs> in a lot of trouble here. I believe, but because under these rules you cannot deliberately foul, so he's going to need... And we've just seen Jason scratch on the break there. Now this is, this is where we've spoken about this quite a bit, Logan, in terms of mental fortitude. So. Jason now being 2 nil down, had a couple of small errors, had his break and now now he's scratched off his own break. This is in his in his mentality, this was the game where he was supposed to bring himself back into it. This is this is where he's hyped himself up for that break and then he's scratched. With a straight dump too. No no yeah. collision with another ball. Actually there's a little clip off the uh, off oh. the old red at the top there unfortunately. Oh well never mind, you're unlucky. Um, very, very unlucky, but uh, the break being the most important part of the game. You know, a lot of people overlook that in terms of cue ball control and timing, speed, swing. Um, but uh, now with Bro at the table, he's got his free shot. Looking to take on yellows, he's going to promote this over to the left-hand pocket, which is great. And he's potted that. I'd be curious to see if he was, uh, to know if he was actually trying to pot that. It did not look like it was on. But these these pockets on the Supremes, they they take a little bit more. I don't think you'll be unhappy with the result. These certainly not. Let's play that nicely. He's, he's put some really good pace on this. Yeah, he's. he's if he takes his ball on the right hand side. He'll then have the cut back on the one on the <coughs> left-hand side. But these two balls in the middle of the table are not not as easy as they might seem. It looks like they the one the higher of the two in the middle only goes to the right middle, or the top left, uh, or the left middle. But currently the left middle is blocked by the other ball. So he's actually got a bit of work so to do. Feeling he, um, he's having a look at the cut on the ball to the right hand side middle after he plays the one that's over the bag on the left hand side middle so I think he's just having a look at the angle there seeing what he can cheat on the pocket here to bring the white ball down a little bit that's a very good shot he's that's landed on shot. this ball to the middle perfect and now what was a little bit of an awkward out is rather straightforward he's played a very good shot there so uh, Bronson playing a very uh, Touchy shot here. Yeah, I wonder if he's trying to induce a stalemate in this situation. He made the distance, unfortunately. No, he hasn't. So this, this little free ball here is, is going to be the, the tester. Now, Jason being an experienced player, I have a feeling he's going to be taking the ball in hand and he may just play into those balls on the right-hand side, breaking the top red to the left pocket and potting that yellow. But he does run the risk if he doesn't hit it hard enough of leaving the yellow in the mix there. Now, he can also not 
take the out and set up his ball on the left hand side and he can play a snooker again and make it almost an impossible snooker because he doesn't want the stalemate out here. But we'll see how hard he hits this now. Yeah, that's a good point. He sort of has the option to get another free shot if he wants. And there we run the risk yeah, of exactly, saying exactly if he doesn't hit said. it hard enough. Yeah, well, you can see a little bit of a disappointment on his face. I don't know if that was a, a lack of pace, because the, the yellow jawed because of the pace. He, he might have needed to hit it soft, actually, for the yellow. Oh, he's played it. He's played that. He played that well, a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> he does have a top ball, though, then he can come back down on the left-hand side. That was a pocket. brilliant shot. He's, he was in a bit of trouble there. He had many safety options, and he's played a very attacking, very clever shot to clear that pocket. Bro on a little bit of a, that's a great shot from uh, from Jason there. We have Bro just with a nice little finesse cut on the black ball here to the left middle. Oh, he's Which missed. missed. A little, little bit of a skid on the black ball there. Uh, can we get a little bit of a replay on that? I just want to see the skid on the on the black ball over the clock there. Oh, and Jace Lee has under, is... under hit a ball here. He just leaves himself in a very, bit of a difficult double. How quickly the these games the... can turn. That's right, guys. We won't see that shot. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see uh, good old Jason he, he's got lining up random, shot there. Random shot from the past. It okay. looks like he's played a safety there and left. Been unfortunate on the safety. He's, he's played the attacking safety, which is great. He's had a dip at it. He's also tried to leave a shot to nothing if he missed. It was all because of uh, a bit of a loose positional shot that Jason played where... He, he really couldn't have gone too far, and he's under hit it, which is, I'm sure he'll be kicking himself over that. And just just uh, just dropping into this frame on, on Jason and Bro here, I think we're going to see a little bit of a safety onto the right-hand side rail from, from Jason here. Now, under normal circumstances, we would see Jason take on, take on and out, and I just wonder if we're going to see him play a safety through these balls. Just, uh, just because he's 2-0 down. Shocked. I would be shocked if you played a safety here. And this is, this, is where, this is where I want to get into the mentality of this. Is, as I said, normal circumstances, he would be playing the out all day. But you can see he's, he's slower around the table. Generally, Jason's quite a confident player coming around the table. He, he's just linked too nicely to ever deny the, the out here. He's just got to roll this ball to the middle, and then the other ball to the middle. Play the one on the right-hand side, and the one in the middle. Oh, no, he's doing this. Never too late to play a safety. I guess he, he won't be here. He'll be taking a ball to the middle, ball to the middle, and playing the two balls up to the top right-hand side. He still leaves himself on, on the most difficult shot being likely last here, which is the, right, the red on the right-hand side closest to the rail. Not, not too difficult, I but I it's think still, play that still becomes, quite a, it becomes quite a paramount connector ball. He's got... The wrong angle it looks like here, unless the unless it's straighter than it looks on the stream. Probably straighter than it looks on stream. Oh, you can see it there. Oh, yep, you're you right. No, he's right actually fine. He's very straight on that actually. Yeah, he's, he's, little, fine. he's fine. A little bit of a dolly in any. It did fine. look like he was running up the table, but no, he's actually quite perfect. Now, here we go. This is the hardest shot he has to play. So. And this is what I was saying before, you know, he's left his last two shots being, being the hardest ones here. Now he has to play this hard shot here. Okay. He's played it very he's nice. He's played it nicely. He still he's has to play a pop with angle, position on, on the white ball here. And Logan, you and, I, you and I, we've spoken about this back in the accommodation a few times um, with a few of us boys that are, are staying there, which is really nice. It's, uh, it's just about choosing the uh, connector ball, the, the connector ball. I feel like if you had have left one of these mid balls, this connector ball as a roll in on a red to the left middle pocket to sit nicely on the back. Now he's played this out brilliantly, don't get me wrong, but uh, he's left himself two, two movements on the wide on his last couple of shots. And that sort of stuff is, is they're the missable, they're the missable shots. So for those of you at home, once, you, once you're playing your out and you've decided that that is what you're going to do, is choose your connector ball, the one that's going to get you onto the black on the easiest shot, the least amount of movement, and the best position. Uh, I think the way he went was honestly spot on. The easiest or second easiest way to do it. 
because th those two balls on the rails where you're just playing the exact same stun shot off the rail twice in a row. Just played the harder one first. I really like how we did it. Um, but yeah, everyone sees it a little bit differently. And that's a beautiful thing about pool, isn't it? Especially considering on the pool table, those two last shots Jason played, they're pretty much some of the most common shots that come up in the game of pool. So all these guys have practiced them hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. And as you see, Jason made no mistake, both balls in the centre of the pocket. So I see Bronson getting out of a snooker there. Hasn't, uh, hasn't done him a whole world of good. Obviously, he was playing for the pot, the right-hand side middle. We've seen Bro just have an absolute sledgehammer of a break there. <laughs> that was a very nice break. J Jason's got a bit of work to do here. The black is rather inaccessible. And that's a big problem for him. I'm wondering what his plan is. I suppose if you... I mean, the black can always deflect off the yellow into the middle, but I, I doubt you're ever coming into an out thinking, oh, I'm happy playing the black that way. <laughs> You'd hope not, sir. You'd certainly hope... Unless you're Steve Jamison, then you probably just do it for fun. Oh, if you're Steve Jamison, I think you got more problems than just a black ball to the middle. <laughs> Good old Jamo. Play the greatest position on here. He's going to have to play a big shot. He's on, he's on only the one ball to the right-hand side pocket. You can see on his face a little bit of disappointment. Um, good old Jace Lee here, though. He he won't be he won't be lacking confidence going into this shot. So very accomplished player. Both uh, both Diamond Brothers, the uh, WA State players, multiple times. Mm. Uh, he, that was. I, his, his idea was excellent there. He would have been on. I feel like he. This. I feel it like he got a little bit lazy going into that. Actually, if you if you saw the way he addressed the table, he, he didn't address it with such with such power like he usually does. I know he's got a command. Mean, but I feel that's how he plays with this very. <coughs> oh mate, if, relaxed watch him, watch him, style. Watch him play a lot more. You'll see. You'll see. He comes to the table. Comes to the table in very commanding present. Oh, Jace Lee, he... Um, oh, Grant, Grant Wakely in the comments mentioned before, you can't be a deliberate foul if you hit your own balls first. So that must be... So in reference to the, the skill shot attempt we saw earlier from, from Jace Lee. So thanks, Grant, for letting us know. Nice finish there by Bro. He took the yeah, shot very by well, and Bro, now he's long black. I said the uh, the confidence is brimming in this young lad. Um, so Bro's made it to the final stages of quite a few tournaments over the last 12 months, um, namely the IPA Pro Series. So this is not unfamiliar territory for Bro, especially on tables, cloth, and rule sets like this. Uh, Lee, Lee, to answer your question, are there any live scores? Uh, have a look on pool stat. Click on National and scroll down to the black ball and you can see all the live results on there. Um, so if you want to see how Scotty Fraser is doing, which I'm sure everyone is very excited to see results for, uh, you'll find him on full stat. So we've seen Bronson just knock in a, a very nice yellow off of Jace Lee's red over the pockets. 
planted himself nicely on a yellow to the, the bottom has right left hand corner. Murdered that break and come up dry. And he gave the classic shrug, how unlucky am I? As everyone always does. And honestly in this instance, probably a bit unlucky. He hit that real nice. So just to update those at home on live scores, if I may, Mr. Lynch. So for the live scores, in round four of the men's singles, we have obviously Bronson Blackmore and Jason Dimer at 1-1 apiece. We have Sean Partridge and Shane Saylor. Sean Partridge leads that match 1-0. Bro Shields and Jason Tanaskovic, a 3-1 lead to Bro here, as you can watch on stream. We have Sean Walpole and Chase Daly at 1-1 apiece. Um, we also have Mark Owens and Timmy Wyatt. They're 0-0 at the moment. And Jack Green and Scotty Fraser are also playing at 0-0. We have further games to come of Mick Norton and Aaron Kilpatrick. And a further game of Sean Durbridge and James Reed, Ready to follow. Thank you, Mr. Lynch, for the update on the live scores. Guys, that's on full stats under the men's singles category. It's excellent having pull stat here at these tournaments. You can see all the live updates. Everyone just has a little iPad that they put the scores in. Absolutely each frame. brilliant, isn't it? Keeps track of master breaks and all this stuff. For those people who you know, do master breaks, I'm sure they're happy to record them. <laughs> It's always a nice feeling when you get to hold the iPad for, you know, two seconds longer as a master break. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe a little bit of a trouble here for, for Jace Lee Diamond. It's, uh, yeah, that's just hard, just hard to see where the... pair shapes there. It's like we a double or beyond, but then what is the question? Double so from, from cut the rest to the right-hand side pocket, smash them to the black, put it at the same time. See you later, mate. Oh, never mind. All that. That's all out the window, but I think I think on a shot like that, very much so, as, as much as we would like to go out, uh, it's a lot of movement on the white for that. Now, I wouldn't have called it to go into the top right-hand pocket of all places. So that, that is the way he's addressed the white ball on the shot. Even even somewhere there, depending on the angle, it could have been it could have been something nice enough where you're just rolling up behind that ball to play that safety. The difficulty, Possibly. difficulty of going across the table of potting those yellows um, because you're too close to that middle jaw. But you've got to remember, he went straight into that top pocket. If he missed it just to the left-hand side, he actually would have come down towards the line of this red. Potentially, he would so have. He's he would only have, he would have just caught it very, very thin. Missed it, and and you don't want to play too many safety shots against these top players, or they are going to take you down. So. As uh, Brody was saying yesterday, Brody Conroy, he was saying you should play this game at 80% aggression, 20% safety. And I tend to agree with that. Take the game in, in, in your way. This, this your rule way. set? Absolutely. Nice shot by Brunson. He's got... He just needs to avoid this top pocket, avoid the jaws essentially, and he's going to be nice on the blank. I don't believe he needs to come up that high, just judging by the angle. It's very hard to tell on the small screen here. Just needs to nice little stun there. You see that lovely. He's played that brilliantly. This will be a fairly clinical black it's by a nice old little Bronson. finesse shot. That shot he played. He's cued not difficult, it, obviously. It well, but he hasn't he hasn't jabbed it. He's just cued through it nicely. It's always hasn't nice to see shoulder. good players that play simple shots really well. No mistake there. Well, that puts Bronson Blackmore to two one versus Jace Lee Dimer. Tuning in over to Bro Shields and Jason Tanaskovic. Just trying to follow up on who is on the balls. Yeah, Jason, Jason looks like he's red. lining up the red here. Had a very smart. That's a good shot. A very smart shot there. It's covered Jason. two balls there, the black and the yellow. And the black is generally the hardest ball to get out if it's covered because you can't just hit it out, obviously, because you're not on it. A little bit of thought process here from 
from Brown on what's going to be the shot here. I wonder if he will cut the yellow into the black, where the yellow will deflect under this red, the higher of the reds, and the black will I clear looked at out. that shot first off. I was trying to see the angle of what was there. That's nice too. See, the, now the black's behind his yellow. Yes, it does go to the middle, but... Made things a little bit tougher, so Jason's less likely to consider going out here. A little bit more traffic, mate. A little bit more traffic to add into the mix. Jason plans to proceed in this frame. I wouldn't be surprised if he does go for go for it, but it is. He will be taking this out all day. It's just landing on the black is the only real difficult call, but he's gonna he has say here an opportunity to get this yellow out of the way of the black. And then it's all rather straightforward from there. Don't believe he needs to, to move too much here. As long as he just comes That's into what he's comes into at. this yellow with the white ball off the cushion. I believe he's looking at start off the rail into this yellow, and then he's got the red to the left-hand middle as his backup ball. Or the ball he's trying to land on. He's moving out of the way nicely. And look at that. They have just missed out on the ball underneath just because of the yellow in the way, but that's okay. He's now going to have to play up the table he has with the red on the left-hand side. a bit of a problem for himself in now that the red to the middle is harder to get on. Some mapping here that'll come into play in terms of this uh, this red to the middle and the red now on the on the bottom cushion. I do I do wonder. At this stage, he still has coverage on the right hand side here. Certainly does. But the yellow ne near the black can go into that pocket and disrupt disrupt that. be about the positional play with the white ball here. Jaisley has attempted to mark his double on the right hand side and only just missed it. It's a little bit too far, still looks like he's on the red though, where he's addressing the ball. Yeah, he has gone out of position here. Now is he going to run away with the white ball, is the question. It's, it's I find it hard to tell on these really thin cuts because of how much the white straightens up on these these rails when you hit it. Uh, oh, no, he's, I thought he hit that softer than I thought, but he's missed it thick. So. Uh, honestly, I think he'd be quite happy with that because he's left um, he's left Bro here uh, under all his balls, so he can't cut any over this right-hand side pocket. To I feel a shot here that I've... Uh I have no doubt that Bro would be thinking is running this yellow up towards the red. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. He's going into the... He may go into this yellow that he's hitting now if he did that. Oh, he's played the double kiss. The, the little That's bit a brilliant double shot. kiss. That's a really clever shot. That's a brilliant shot. So here now, Jason's going to have to work out whether he plays a, a double shot off the rail on the, on the right-hand side and just leaving the white ball safe, tucked under underneath the yellow there, forcing him to play that yellow out, or whether he's going to play... There's no point moving that red ball that's, that's above the black here, and it becomes very risky if he plays across the table to try and pot the red, as he's looking at now. Yeah, he certainly does not want to pot this. And that's a very good shot. Well played, Jason. He's it's a very, very good shot. Regained initiative here in the frame. And now Bro has to do something. He has to find another way to tie things up. Or And now he may be looking at the shot you mentioned earlier, the cut on this yellow up to the top pocket. Very difficult shot, though, because it is extremely thin. Ah, oh, that was a free shot by Bronson there on the right hand side. It's a great shot. He's tying up the black and the red ball, so this is this is leaving it up to Jason. Yeah, that was a good shot. Very, very clever by Bro. That was a good shot. He's he's left him only on this ball that is the biggest problem for Bro. And 
a free shot in this rules means that ball goes anyway because Bro can just pot it. So that was a very good shot there. The, uh, the crux of this shot though is if uh, Jason is potting this red, if he comes into either the red, the yellow or the black here, he's going to spread all three of them. Sending the red further up the table and it's going to determine whether the black goes towards the middle, yeah, middle it's spot. Very difficult to control shots like this where Absolutely. you have to screw back. Uh, because depending when the ball grips, oh, he's actually going, ah, no, okay. Smart right. shot. There that's good go. that he was. Just didn't want to take the risk. And this this is where I'm saying, you know, that, that sort of, those general safeties is you're, you're leaving it up to your opponent to make the first mistake and, and you just continue to clean up and mop up after they're done. Yep. And unfortunately for Bro, the shot he's, the shots he's likely to want to be playing will result in leaving Jason on that red. Absolutely. To the middle. Just seen, uh, just seen Jason play a large double there down to the bottom left hand side of the pocket with Bronson tapping his hand on his head. So he knows he's made the mistake there. And that brings to Bronson and Jason to two apiece. All right, what's Bro come up with here? He's hit that one. He's attempted to cut it in. And, oh, don't... If he leaves him on that red, that's a little bit... Okay, he's all right. I, I still feel that Jason is favoured here. A shot I like is cut the black down over your red over the hole. And by that, I mean you hit the red into the black. Yep. And then and cut the black down. The black down. Yes. Then you have control of the black. That's just the way you can progress his position. And it sets up his red. I wonder if he'll, he'll do that or if he'll come up with something smarter. No, I believe that's a smarter shot on the table here. If you do, you take you take control of that pocket, you take control of the black at the same time, and bouncing out the red, it doesn't really matter where it goes, it'll sort of be semi over the hole, as long as you're not near the cushion, obviously. But even if you are, you're still leaving that red to run it down onto the red on the bottom right in the corner. Mm -hmm. And if that shot happens, the bro is sort of a... The only way you can really come back into the frame is through a foul. Still a good shot. Still a good shot. As I said, the, yeah, um, you hit that thicker than I think. Um, perhaps, I was, perhaps I was seeing it incorrect on the screen. I, will, I thought he could leave the red there, but the red's gone further on the right. Not that this is a bad shot by any means. It still does leave a little bit of an out for Bro here. I do wonder if he's going to try and run one of those yellows up to move that red or at least block that red either or it's one of um one of bro's strengths is he he generally maps the table in terms of moving his balls up towards theirs as he is looking at it now this is, is quite oh when they're covered you mean yep absolutely i see it's uh as you were saying before you know everyone sort of sees everything differently once once you sort of be around these players quite a bit it's uh you sort of you can generally understand what type of shots they're going to take on. So these types of shots so now aren't play, no common yep. for Bro here. Mm -hmm. And he's got two two options. He can he can try and play to cover, which he likely will. Um, he can play off the red to open it up for that yellow to go to the left hand side, so it's just as open as the right. And he can stun the white ball over to the right hand side, with the other yellow. But it looks like he's going to play up the table here, so he can play the other yellow next. Yeah, okay, he's, he's played, played that, that perfectly. Yeah, so, so anyway, Maybe a little didn't bit. even look at his. Bo can actually, unfortunately, he's not landed with good angle, but he was able to go out here. He's got a little bit of angle, actually. If he can I, get down a bit more than low I on this here, though. Too much in a, our tactical defensive mindset here to really notice that he's kind of just on. <laughs> and that is... Oh. That was a tremendous effort by Bro, but That's unfortunately bad. it looks like it's gone... Yep. It's very much going Although, <coughs> I believe a double is on. Double and then skill shot. What do you reckon? A possible face cut there. Yeah. Actually, by the looks of it, just with the angle. Let's see. Let's see what he comes up with here. Mm. Just had a had a quick peek, so he definitely definitely can see a lot more of that ball than you know, what it looks like. Yeah. This is not even need a double. Oh. So, did he play his side on that? It looks like he tried to throw that in with yeah, a bit of side. Took a little bit of a swerve on that one, but uh, as I said, he, when, I, when I stood up to have a look, he could see a lot more of the ball than I thought he could based on the camera. 
Now here, Jason. That was a good effort there by Barry. To Absolutely a fair effort. And he was, I was saying, have a crack in a frame that he was otherwise not really able afterwards. to win. And now, Jason, I wonder if he'll take on this double. Double is the way to go. Doubling it across and, and playing the red on the right hand right hand corner afterwards. Dolly up the table for the red to the top and play the black down in the same pocket as the red now. Brunson has fallen victim to the middle pockets. Which Without commentator's curse. Without commentator's curse. That's true. It wasn't a ball on a rail, so I'm actually surprised to see him. Oh, Jason's actually denied the double and gone the safety. Got to play a safety shot there. I don't know how yeah, much I agree with that. You could play, essentially play the double and, and play it well enough to come behind the black. You didn't have to smash the double. You could just sort of roll it across. Mm -hmm. This is this is where we were talking about before that that mentality of uh, you know, how risky is an out being three one down. How risky you know the the percentage plays on on safeties and smarter shots. Uh, well, Bo just went for his only option, which was have a crack at the yellow, and he's he's missed it. So to be fairly clinical, Jason playing up the table, a stun for that red ball. If you can't see this red over the hole yet. No, and no. That's a little bit tricky play because the stun, stun it's to not the middle a good ball to get to the black that ball as well. It really isn't, and you do you do run the risk of, of coming off the cushion and into the black with the white ball. Yes. Um, but I think we'll see him drag it quite a quite a fair way. Yeah, I'm curious to see how he plays this. I wonder if he tries to get as close to this right hand side rail as possible. Or is he playing it now? Mm. Is he swinging around the two here? No, he's just standing up. A little bit of. This is going to be that tell all shot here. Yeah, this For is. This, at home. There's a lot of ways to play this, and honestly, none of them are. So we've just seen a delicious meal walk past us. And Incredible meal just went past. Choices. They, they do very nice meals here at the uh, German club. That's uh, okay. I, I like how Jason played that actually. Actually, that was just common sense. <laughs> you just just screw back and acknowledging that the black is not going to be difficult as long as he's at any part of the table to the left of the black. Well done, Jason, getting another frame back on the board. So 3-2 now on the left-hand side. Sam Bronson just cheating the pocket, creating himself a little bit of angle to screw back and run the white ball up to the top of the table. Yeah, that was a nice shot there. So hopefully he leaves himself with enough angle here where he can play the yellow off the top rail and bring the white ball out to put the black into the same right-hand top pocket. Uh, just, he's been unlucky enough to catch the draw. Now that comes oh, down to I queuing. I would not call that unlucky. That was. That comes down to queuing, absolutely. Yeah. That's, and these are these are the things where you know they'll they'll keep you in the game or put you out of the game. And then, as I said, you know, before that mental fortitude is is how do you battle with yourself mentally? You need to, depending on how this game goes, it's just get yourself out of your own head. Um, playing across the table here though with the white ball doesn't exactly leave Jace Leon a lot, um, but it does give him the opportunity to run and hide with the white ball. Yeah, it does depend a lot where the yellow goes, but it's, it's we'll, we'll certainly know after this shot who's ahead in the frame, let's put it that way. One cushion escape here at, at this level with these fellas, um, that sort of stuff shouldn't be terribly difficult, either way you're going to be moving that yellow towards the pocket, you'll either be covering the black or the red or both. Just wants to make sure not to clip the yellow thin because then the yellow won't move much yeah so he's gone under it that's a good shot except it mm. yeah it's a good shot so yeah, the, the yellow has not gone into a good spot but Jace Lee's left with basically nothing so that was a good shot now Jace Lee needs to return serve here by finding a way to leave Bunsen no shot on this yellow oh, can, he can see this okay You'll make no mistake, he'll be snickering and setting his ball up. That's a great That's a really shot, nice shot. A really, really good nice shot. shot after that. That is definitely the response. Serve returned. Well, bro 
and Jason. Bro's just played a shot with an extraction on the black. He hasn't uh, been terribly successful. He's gotten the pot and pushed the black over the side near another yellow for his opponents, which is going to force him to play up the table here. Yeah. He's, just played the, uh, he's just played the cover, and he's not quite gotten it. He would, be, he would not be happy with that shot. And Bronson has just gone under the yellow. So as they basically play ball in hand, he'll likely run this red ball down to the right hand pocket. Looks like he's going to glance it off to, to leave it open. No, he's going to run no, it down. No, he's running it down. He's just made more angle, so it's, he's getting better on his next ball. And... Uh, and that's taking a, take going a bit, bit of it rush that. Honestly, yes, a little bit rush. And that's what I was saying. You know, usually, usually he will approach these shots with quite a, quite a, quite a commanding presence as soon as he, he touched the table. He just needed that was, to that be. Was, he just kind of got down and, and He needed to it. be thinking if I get this red over the hole, the frame is over. And he didn't quite do that, so he'd be pretty disappointed. You can always recover here with a nice shot, but. It's one of those things is you never want to have to. I wonder if he is going to take his medicine and play a longer black here, or if he's going to try and get nice and he tried to get nice and neat and he's played it here. And now Bronson's, honestly, handed, Bronson's response here just needs to be say goodbye to your red ball. Yeah. Snooker and set up the yellow as best you can. You can just bounce this out to the middle here and he's just fine. Even if he bounces it just past the black. I to send it down the other end of the table. I don't, I don't know how much I like that See, I really that like that because the white is most like... It, it takes away um, Jaisley's ability to hit the shot soft because you'll almost certainly leave Bronson on the, the yellow ball, which gives the chance that the red goes terrible or something like that. So that was a smart shot putting the yellow down here. and he's missed it as a result. Hmm. I like just rolling out to this red, eh? I actually don't, I actually don't mind just coming into the red and bouncing on. Yep, just roll into so a full ball. Bronson already decided he's done yep. this. Well, that nicely. He gave himself a decent amount of angle. He doesn't have to use too much on the white ball. No, I don't have to fairly do naturally to run up to the top ball. Jason, we can see in stride, playing a nice little out here. He's got a positional shot from one yellow to another. He may potentially come into this black ball just to promote it a little bit, keep himself on the yellow. To yeah, I would, I would be surprised if he goes into the black here, but you never know. Just because uh, he would, that he run the risk of losing the white where he didn't really need to. Nice shot there. Well, it's nice, really nice finish. I mean, obviously he had the foul and he roll into it. Still have to pop the balls. And uh, honestly, Jace Lee will be feeling uh, he's really given that one away. Top and that's up. a great pop. Great pop by Jason. Fantastically good Jason's position. Jason's looking really solid now. Both these two, Bro and Jason, are looking very nice here. So. This will be now we see the reverse pressure. Up. You can see a little pump of the cue by Jason there, so this is this is where your opponent sees those types of things, and this is where he's just G'd himself up. Mm -hmm. That small pump of the Q could be what turns it. Old Q shake. The Brenton, Co Brenton Collier Q shake. <laughs> I haven't seen Bronte in years, actually. He's around. He's always around, mate. If there's a bar, he's there. <laughs> Tell you some stories about old Bronte. Uh, who, who just broke that? Oh, that was Jace Lee. Jace Lee because he's sitting in his chair. <laughs> I, I think we should watch the Bro Jason game here since we just watched the last one by Jace Lee and Bronson. Oh, that was going that straight was going in. Straight he's got in. lucky there. We said he got unlucky before when he got kissed in off, and he's gotten lucky there. So, you know, it all, all evens out in the end. He got kissed on the white. 
So. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just in time. You see a little breath of, breath of a sigh there from him <laughs> as, that, as that happened, which I didn't notice until the replay. <laughs> so it looks like he's going to be taking on the Reds here, but if he takes on that shot that he's having a look at here, is where does that other red ball go? Is the question? Yes. If there's a bit more angle that I can't see that if he is pushing the white through. He's played, played that nicely. He's left himself with the red in the middle of the table. Um, the red ball he's going to have to come back to, unfortunately, though. He does look like he's on the red into the middle. With a decent amount of angle to bring himself down the table. That was a very good shot by Jason. There. He's, a fantastic um, shot. He's got what looked like really junky reds now look like tap-ins. So, very smart shot there. He's oh, put that in with conviction. He's got the right angle. He does. That was, oh, actually, no, he's got the wrong angle. He's going down the table a bit, but it's not bad. I still think so Landon, just, a bit a, of just above here. that middle, just above that middle pocket, he should be fine with the white ball. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like it will be. About on the line, the red is now, the white will be, I think. He's played that perfectly. To the left of it, yep. Good shot. So you can see, just by Jason's demeanour, he's uh, just clicked over into the zone here. Mm-hmm. So the jitters are out of the way. He's made some nice finishes, made some nice pots. Absolutely. The confidence it. levels are rising. Oh, he's played that As so confidently. That, I, I love to see that. That's a great shot. That is a confident shot. It's starting to become clinical here for Jason. This is making a statement to Bro, who is probably sitting in his chair thinking, Oh, Jesus, I'm back against the wall here. My, my, my lead is now gone. And this guy's just dished. Speaking. Very, very surprised. The commentator's curse. Very surprising miss there by Jason. As I said, we were just talking about how he was very much zoned in. Actually, those are shots you should never take for granted, to be fair. Just those are the shots that you miss the most, unfortunately. Yeah. Pump in the hard balls and miss the easy ones. We've all uh, all been there. I mean, you just picked the wrong line, clearly, and here's the result. Both heavy paper in this frame now. Though. <laughs> so Bo is he just he needs to look for a foul as the easiest way for him to win this frame. So am I so getting a really, really good tight difficult to get out of snooker? My firm belief here is he was not trying to not trying pot to pot that, that yeah. This is where he wanted to leave the No, I think he wasn't trying to pot that, he was trying to leave the white about here, right? I have a feeling he was trying to pot that, just uh, he wanted to snooker on the, on the ball that's on the right-hand side of the yellow. I believe that was his going to be his next shot. Mm. So he had a bit of a, bit yeah, of a head shake he can, after the shot. Yeah, if he can block the... He needs to block the side rail glance off shot, and he needs to block the... I suppose the across is very difficult, given the position of the yellow. So yeah, he just wants to leave this probably on the top rail, if he can get there. No, this, this looks fine. I think he's played that well. He's actually blocked the up and down as well. Yep. He'll likely get a foul here, which will... Oh, oh hold on. Bit of swervage. Maybe we've got some dragage. Doesn't it look like it, but uh, just the way he was lying up, I do wonder... I do wonder if that line is it, there. If he can drag it just past the middle pocket there, the look at the uh, overhead here, it does not look like... It doesn't look like it's from the easy overhead, way to but do the way this. he's addressing it tells me otherwise. Very so yeah, he's trying to swerve around the yellow to, get to end up on the straight line. It's a pretty delicate shot here. This will be a very good shot. He's played, and he's well. played that very well. Oh, that is a, that's, that's an exceptional shot. Yeah, well, now we know. He actually deliberately missed that ball just so he could show off. <laughs> oh, I'll just leave this here for later for a little swervey swerve. Yeah, and now he gets to play some fancy shot on the black here. Off 
the yellow. Yep. Oh, actually, the cut to the middle is on. It's a very difficult cut to the middle. I, I much, yeah, I much fancy. There's no easy shot here. That's I much sure. fancy off the yellow here. I feel like that's probably an easier line than that cut to the middle. Um, this though, I feel like we'll probably see a little bit of a fist pump if he if he if does he, take if it. If he sinks it, if he does not, he's going to open up that yellow and promote it over um, towards the middle. Of oh, he's, he's just missed it. Just missed it. And this should be Bro's phone. He'll be screwed, he'll be screwed added about pressure that. with he, the black over the hole. He, uh, he hit that well. He Not just well over got it. It was, um, it was a difficult shot. Difficult, difficult, difficult line shot. to difficult line to pick on those. This is uh, this is what's Fun, either going funnily to enough, if he rolled that, it would have gone in. He he, he he played the stun. I usually on the on those shots. I usually try to get it to stun because it's usually easier to see that angle than the rolling angle. Hope and pray I don't have to play those shots very often. Oh, well, yeah, but you know, sometimes when you're white ball... Oh, here's the cut break. You we just, seen the, just seen the cut break by Bronson, so clearly he's not feeling his break. He mentioned before the match that uh, if he's not feeling his break and he needs to change, he will start using the cut break. I believe he said <laughs> if he dumps the white at any point, he will switch to the cut break, and he dumped the white the last time he broke, so... so. so he stayed true to his word there. He's not a, he's not a liar. That's good to hear. Trustworthy fellow. Oh, bro. You can see the oh, disappointment in bro. That hurts to see. Yeah. Got a feel for the guy. Absolutely. You would have, would have liked to have seen all that hard work. But uh, and Jason got away is, with that one. It is one of those frames. Though. After his Jason. very nice out that he missed the uh, rather straightforward red, he's gotten away with it. And if I'm, if I'm broke, I'm, I'm certainly feeling it here because Jason's playing very well and not making too many mistakes and you've just handed him a frame that and you can he really should have been winning. You can see it on the demeanor of bro. He's mm. uh, shoulders, shoulders are sagged forwards and he's walking a little bit slower around the table. This is where he needs to he lift to reset. his... He needs to lift his confidence, get that frame out of his mind and have, power have around a, the table. Have a toilet break. Showing off his moves here. Look what I can do, lads. Look at me, look at me. Hmm. Now, these yellows are tough. These are very tough. Yes. He, uh, looks like he's going to be running that yellow on the left hand rail down. Yep, so play this one long, double the yellow to the middle, and try and get a result on the yellow tangled in the reds. I think uh, that's now he, what now we might be, see here. Now we might be forced to, to play this double and, and potentially an uh, extraction. Well, maybe. Me personally, I, I would have liked to have been able to run that yellow ball down the rail on the left-hand side. It looks like from here the white is going between past the red, which will not help him. So he needs to get a little bit further. Okay. That's a, 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 that's a good hit. He's, he's, he's recognised it. I wonder if he was trying to come in that gap there and land on the yellow to this bottom right-hand side pocket. But then what? You know, I, I would like play to the see, the you know, play, play the white ball up, white ball down. Actually, if you right got, that, if got that pot and the white went uh, four more white balls to the left, he could have played the ball long and then the other yellow. So that, that probably gave him his best chance of getting the out, actually. And as it turns out, he's covered a hole here, so he's certainly not out of this frame. Whereas in, say, international rules, for example, this frame would effectively be over for the in favour of Reds here. I can't tell if that's a brilliant shot or not. Can you see that yellow? No, it looks like that's a very good shot by Bronson. He's, well, he's forced, forced the pot here. It, yeah. does, it does essentially give him a little bit, and I say, I say this, I say this uh, no, with not a lot of conviction, but it does give him a little bit of a free shot here in terms of he gets back to the table to essentially try and do what he was doing before. Yeah. He's oh, found he's the gap. Jesus, this Brilliantly guy. found the oh gap. Oh my god. 
And this is where I was saying running the running the yellow ball down and playing that was a to the right. Very good shot, ladies and unbelievably. gentlemen. Unbelievably. He's touch of a surgeon right there. He's played that well. This, this Brunson may go to the toilet to throw up after this, this frame if this out is completed. And no one would blame him. It's a bit unfortunate not to glance the black there. I believe he's still on it. Certainly still on as a double to the bottom right hand bag. Oh, he just cuts it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he does not cut that. Might be cutting wrists before you cut in the back. Oh, he's played, played the, triple, the triple. And he's, he's nailed the triple. He's just showing up now. Jace Lee, Dimer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and this is this is where we see the experience come into it, ladies and gentlemen. What a shot! That is beautiful. Uh, we get to reel. see the roll in. That's what we wanted to see, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so Jace Lee has picked a beautiful gap there, ran a ball along the rail, and then tripled the black. That's that's a pretty nice finish. Call to Naz the janitor, he's mopping up. Well, let's see if he misses his last easy ball again, eh? Thank you, thank you Before to the we pack start orts. calling him that. <laughs> thank you to the pack orts. We will start calling Jason the janitor. Oh, uh, here we go. Look at, look at, Patty in the comments. Oh, pack lords in the comments. Jinx and Tanashi. Almost feels like we need to call the janitor to clean up the spew on the floor after that positional. Because he will be gone. Jace Lee having a fairly open table here on the Reds. This will be the determined ball. It's interesting, Jason, honestly, when he's, he's making these outs and he looks like he's not going to miss and then he's making these little errors. But when I see something like that, it means that you're only a hair off each time making these outs. That shows the potential of this guy. If he's just on a little bit more, he's he, we will start calling the janitor, all right, mate? What was his name again? Pack Lords. Pack Lords. We'll do that just for you. Yeah, all right. So, bro, taking the ball in hand. Fairly open table here for him. There's, there's not, not too much room for error. These, um, are, these are going to be roll-ins. This, this first ball is going to determine I'm going to call his position. He gets these, and if he doesn't, he matches over. Early call from the commentator. Let's see if the commentator's curse is real. This ball, you wouldn't want to roll it over the hole. You actually want to pop this so you don't have to come back for it later. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And no he, mistake there. I think he's over on this little. However, he still has still has his little bit of a uh, a recovery shot here. That honestly, yeah, he's out of position on the first shot here. He would not be happy with that. But I think he's fine. He can get this ball to the middle and then. And still get on the other ball to the middle. I think. Wait, where's the overhead? Uh, right there. Oh, actually, no, he cannot. It looks like he has to go around. Oh, no, he's going this way. See if he can avoid this red. And he, oh, he needs to play the white ball just up above the yellow. Even if he uses the cushion here, he's got to play that red down to the bottom right hand pocket. He looks reasonably straight here. To try and get high on it, he's got to play quite a firm shot. He's got a bit of angle there, some pocket. He's got a bit of angle, you reckon? He looks pretty straight. Yeah, so that was, it was he always has, a difficult shot has. to control because he had to, because he was so straight, he had to sort of create the angle with the, the pace. And they're very easy to overhit and leave the white all the way up the table and you're in no man's way. But he's on it, so as long as there's no in off here, Won't be too unhappy with this. And he's taking a bit of a reset on his queuing there. Mm. Could 
potentially be looking yeah, to play off know, the table instead honestly, now. Honestly, he does have the option to Playing take this ball the table and then roll the ball into, into the, the middle, middle and come down for the ball Absolutely. to the middle. And it looks like he's seen that. He's realised how difficult that shot he was about to play was and there were all sorts of things. Oh, no, has he got angle? Yeah, he's got angle. He looks good. If he didn't have angle, he would have just... I don't even know. Just go home. <laughs> <laughs> just go home. Take the ball with you. <laughs> all right, see you, lads. I don't know how to finish this out. Yep, there you go. That's where he wants to be. Right on that line. Yeah. A bit of a play on, on Bronson's side. Not the, not the greatest. Oh, he's hit that well. He's hit that well. Wales, but, Excellent uh, shot. That's beautiful. Bro has played it nicely on the left hand side table. Really nice hit. Oh, out of position on the first shot, he's recovered beautifully. He'll be fine to hold the white ball on this. Oh, he's cute. He's confidence. He's he authority. Through. Maybe we'll start calling Bro the janitor. Lovely finish. We'll be able to do that. That's a good pick up on that frame for Bro then. Four all. This is what we want to see. We want to see four all on the right here. Not that we're rooting for anyone, but come on, Bronson. It's actually, it would uh, be really cool if we saw some black ball shootouts. That'd be nice. That'd be really good in this. Black in this, ball shootouts. Oh, that'd, that'd be amazing in this in this rule set. So what black is that? Just black on the spot and you. Black on the spot. Cut yes, it in. Absolutely, and you're, and you're cutting it in long distance on the table. Yeah, that sounds like as pathetic a way to decide the outcome it of the is, frame uh, as the six red shootout. Just play more frames, guys. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, not a fan of the um, the old oh, six red shootout, but the um, the black ball black ball shootout was uh, quite entertaining. <laughs> Jesus walked away. What happened, Phil? <laughs> oh, I see. So, Packlord said, "Oh, he's the janitor," and they probably walked away from his computer and came back. And <laughs> Jason lost Sorry, the frame. Commentator's curse. You can claim that donation is next tax return. <laughs> oh, I love that comment. I don't know who this guy is, but that's funny. Well done. You should be here doing the commentary, mate. <laughs> right, looking over at Brunson and Jaisley here. Brunson has played a safety. Now, Jaisley has a difficult. Difficult thing to figure out here. How can he not foul and not set up the yellow from Snookered? If he can do that, he's still winning in the frame. Otherwise, See, uh, it's going to be the age-old question here. He might have to might have to play the cushion just above the middle jaw here. If he's create, yeah, create if he's that, totaled, he can go line. under the try and go under the red to the right, which he's oh he's hit that so red. Oh my god, this guy. This guy's making me sick. That's a does, brilliant does shot. Look like from the from the other camera angles we have, is Bronson won't be able to play up the table. However, he may come off the cushion to hit that yellow. Very difficult to, to play a little touch safety here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're not I'd, leaving, I'd, be, yeah. I'd be running up the table here to come. To come He's got to find a way to play safety where um, Jace Lee can't just wick off a red and leave him. Sorry. Uzi, this, oh, okay. From from the overhead, it does look like Bronson's actually on this yellow to the top right. And if he is, he can actually go game here. He's just lining up his future yellow shot here. Mm -hmm. His dream shot on his wish list. Christmas is this one pot. <laughs> Just a keyboard for you. Uh. Oh, Matt, Matt Mercott, Sarah on the mic. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Used his first, used his first shot well. Oh, was okay. I think we've uh, missed 
missed what happened there. JC must not have been totaled. And so he fouled there with that shot. Sorry, none of us picked up on that. Well, I thought, I thought potentially on that foul he would play this red and bring it out for that yellow, but... I really like what he did there with the, with the free shot. Mm. Um, Certainly thought about it for a while. And well, yeah, well, we were talking about completely irrelevant stuff because we didn't realise that he had a foul. And by way, I mean me. Uh, Gonson will make no mistake here, I imagine. Get as close to the side rail as you can. And it looks like he has played that nice. Shot. Very nice shot, very nice shot. And you just swing so out. This, this position, as you said, just swing out. Maybe nice for the, nice and fat for the black into the middle. That'll bring them yep. to 4-4. Four, four. Both matches at 4-4 four, four would be an interesting run. Becomes a race to three on either side. Mm-hmm. See that nice. We've seen Jason just put a, put a red in with uh, nicking just off the yellow ball in the middle of the table. Unintentional, but worked out well. Oh my god, this guy's in the freaking comments. <laughs> <laughs> well done there by Bronson. 4 all. this is what we wanted to see. Look at this, 4 all, 4 all. And the excitement rears. Couldn't read about it. So Jason on the reds here. Uh, I, yeah, I, I think we'll see him trickle through this one to get to the ball to the right hand middle and then the red next to the yellow to the... Oh, he's gone, he's gone too far. Oh no, he's gone too far. He has gone too far. So now he's got to play this one. He's, uh, he's this confidently one. coming one. down on the, on the red just below the black. I think he was just so seeing coming, if coming it went, working out where the white's going. Coming into the black like it's though, gets that, into the that black, yeah. little bit of a, of a dicey situation, I think. Mm. Um, That's certainly not what he wanted. No. He wanted to just one one ball roll less, and he would have the ball to the right-hand side middle, and then the ball touching the yellow to the left-hand bottom. You know what would be great? If we had like this little pointer thing, where we could highlight on the stream what we're talking about. Oh, that'd about. be fantastic. That way we, we, can, to, we had that a few years ago for, for commentary and... Um, that actually just disappeared. I don't know. I don't know yep. what happened to that. It was very, very handy. Guys, you'll see there's a donation button on your on your screen to give some some cash to Dan, and I reckon with the proceeds he'll be looking into buying a pointer thing for the commentators. So you know, absolutely five dollars from each of the four listeners that we have tuned in. Wait, we've got four listeners. Uh, seven listeners. So if all of you give uh, ten grand. That should give Dan enough money to buy a laser pointer. <laughs> what do you reckon? Absolutely. I'll, uh, I'll, get Dan, I'll get Dan onto it straight away. Wouldn't put off the players at all. So yeah, J Jason uh, tried to cut that ball in and he did go into the black, but he missed it. And the bro is well behind in this frame, I'd say. As in from a, what I mean by that is he'll be looking to make an out here because, and he becomes a bit of a critical shot for Bro. Now, does he still play? Still play the pot? He does. He does have. He's angle. landed awful, hasn't he? He does have angle to, to slightly come out, but I think, I think really here you'd almost you'd almost play just to just to dolly the white and put the yellow over the pocket. So it's very very. Oh, I see what you mean. No, he's played. Just, he's played the. Uh, He's played, he's played the pot, but he's had, to, he's had to push through it so hard, you, you end up missing those because you're trying to punch it, create angle to try and stop the white ball from, from being essentially where it is and potting the ball. So I think maybe maybe even just moving that yellow over to the right-hand side and just sort of leaving it there creates a, a harder shot, the white ball being behind the red, and it becomes it becomes one of those one of those games where you, you almost have to leave your opponent with that shot, and if they pot it, well, you know, good on them, and, and they've earned that, but if they don't, then you're back at the table in power position. I certainly agree with you. Uh, Broad covering there at least made Jason work for the frame, whereas now he's got the insurance of Bo having a rather difficult ball to deal with at the top rail there. However, if he does miss, Bo can certainly make the out, so... Looks like he's taking this ball to the middle. He's just going to keep his insurance policy there, just underneath the black. And, and he's, he's missed it and high. I've seen a lot of that this weekend. He's, missing uh, high. 
These are, so these are the questionable shots where um, you know you wonder um, from from the elite players at home is whether you would take that that red ball that's over the, the bottom right hand bag to then promote it um, to promote the white to the middle of the table I should say creating creating an easier out oh, I rather see. than taking on a harder shot to the middle ball there and you know, the as, as you've done is, is potentially have missed it so percentage wise what would have been we, we saw Mark Allen yesterday play a skill shot similar to this full length of the table <laughs> yellow and to red Bro's not what? oh that's gone that's a bit unfortunate I mean obviously there was always going to be a little bit of luck in that shot but it's gone about as bad as it could for Bro, Bro there Now, here, Bo here becomes, is here becomes that question of which ball, which ball do you double. move over towards the red? That is the so you, 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 you think you'll play some sort of smother here? Do you? You, might, you might have to. Right? There's not really there's not really much else. I mean, pump it pump it off a couple of a couple of cushions and hope for the best and run the white ball up the table. But I mean, really, oh, you're saying that? Not really just roll the yellow over and smother this red and just. No, hope. absolutely. I, I would be I would be smothering that red as much as possible. That or he goes off the side rail and tries to hit this yellow. Yeah, he's attempted that and, and unfortunately mm. he's just come up a little bit too short. It still does pose a little bit of traffic. Yeah, it, mean, it means it Jason needs to be sort of on this right hand side of the table and screw back. So yes he can that's not difficult, but you know, it's it's something. <laughs> it just creates that little bit of an extra an extra one percent in there that he has to work around. Yeah. He's also left a left a good white here. Actually, if Jason can go under this yellow and hit the red, he can have a dip now. Cushion first into red. If there's a big enough gap there, I do wonder if we'll see. Uh, no, it, it doesn't look like there is. So I don't if we'll see a uh, a long shot here from Jason, maybe a red to the top right hand pocket, even. I oh, know. No, it must he, be. He must be able to get through here. No, he's playing the safer shot, and he's been unfortunate on that for the double kiss and the red dropping. Yeah. Well, that means the um, if you hit that harder, I don't think the red would have dropped, which means the rail first, get the white out, and then pot out was not really on, so that's why he's played that, and unfortunately it's gone terrible for him. Let's see if he can bring out a nice shot here. <laughs> if he goes for this ball though, he's well aware that he's going to leave Bro on that yellow if he misses it. Unless of course he misses it by a lot. <laughs> Which I'm sure he won't be thinking about. <laughs> confident shot this. And he's missed it by a lot and not left him on the yellow. Oh no, no money did. No, he's left him on the yellow. He missed it by so much that he left him on the yellow anyway. <laughs> So, oh, a little bit let off there. We can see Bro coming to the table a bit more confident than what he has been. He'll take a little bit of a breather before he goes down on this shot. This is, yeah, he, he a bit essentially of a just needs to just needs to stun this in. Not too much pace. You just get as much up the table as you can. Oh, okay, no, just get the best angle you can because he couldn't go up the table. And that looks pretty good. We haven't seen any head shakes, so that's usually the indication that it's gone horrendously. This is. This will be the question. This is a big question. Of whether he's going to double it back to the middle or play it to the right hand pocket. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't think anyone would double this. Actually, if you have a look on the angle up top, is. Uh, I, would be, I would be shocked if he tried to double that. Well, you know what? I do, I do, feel, like, I do feel like if he played the pot, Maybe he, he did was, try he to was, double that. He was risking, uh, he was risking the in off off the red. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah, you hit that a bit thick, which made it go further towards the, the left of the red. I think natural ball, he would have hit the red about full ball, which would have been fine. But yeah, that was a very difficult black. Unfortunate for Bro there, the white didn't just roll a couple of... Uh, maybe a foot further, and he would have had a much better chance at it. Now let's see if the janitor can mop these up. Angle here. Secure that nicely. 
Yeah, he's got he's got angle to. Uh, I think he'll just play a little stun screw sort of shot and try and float down on the tangent line, like horizontal, uh, vertical to the table, and just land on this yellow. This is one of those reference things. Some people go up the rail with a bit of side. Yep, which is what he did. Okay, don't mind that. And again, we're seeing Jason zoned in on these shots. Yep. Face full of concentration. I imagine he'll stun this off the rail. So it's a little bit of a blind, blind pocket here. Not to, nothing too difficult. Nothing out of his repertoire. We jump over to Bronson's game where he's playing a skill shot for Bronson's yellow onto Jaycee's red here. Where he was lining up, now he's decided I to change. decided not to do it. Looks like he might be trying to come into the red off this one. Well, interesting. That's uh. I want to try and. I honestly don't know what Brunson. I, was, I would like to get into his head, thinking, here, understanding yeah. that shot. I mean, the skill shot was obviously a hard shot, and if you miss it, you lose. But if you get it, you win. So. But obviously, he didn't fancy it. So I, was, I thought even potentially the way he was uh, feathering, he might have even been trying to pop that ball and come out. Actually, uh, looking at the screen, the, the red's a little bit to the right of the pocket, which does make the skill shot. Uh, a little bit trickier. If he's playing a double or a safety here. Safety. Yeah, left him only on the ball on the left, but I think... Yeah, no, he has. I think he's played that all right. Jason might be able to just hit a little bit of swerve on this just to hit that that red. I think he might be on full ball, man. I think he's going to... Oh, he's just on it, is he? Fly. Yeah, I think he's going to fly past this yellow by at least half a, half a ball gap. Yeah, okay. I really struggle to see the uh, angles on this screen. Oh, yeah, you're right. He can just pot it. Good shot. It's a good shot. Yeah, Bronson's thinking, damn, I should have gone for that skill shot, eh? Yeah, here, I quite <coughs> I quite like this natural angle of if he's potting potting the yellow to the top left hand corner and the white ball coming off top side running down past the black or even, you know, on either side of the black, leaving himself with, with a cut from the yellow onto the right hand side. It becomes a little bit of an open open pocket with that red as there's a gap underneath. What do you think of the monster cut under the red to this right hand side? I don't feel like this is the time to do it. Well, he's screwed in the frame. That's the best time to do it. <laughs> when, you're, when you're in a frame that you're bugging I feel in. Like, I feel like the top, <laughs> the top ball trying to, to give yourself... A yeah, actually, bit. he's also potting this red over the hole. So all he's got to do is find a way to get on this other yellow. You can pot he's three balls in one shot. Back, oh, okay. Kiss on the mic. shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Little bit of good fortune there. Fortune favours the brave, though, as they it say. Does, yes. Might take Bronson to the casino after that, I think. <laughs> but a uh, very good shot. I, as I was saying, I, I, I uh, would have liked to have seen a more natural angle with top running around the table, but that obviously also works when it works. It was yeah, very good pot. That's a great shot. And he's now to he to has to, to play well. a double on the black, unless he fancies the cut. <laughs> Just gonna have to worry about the line of the white ball. I mean, yes, this black. is very difficult, but from where Bronson was at the start of this visit. I think you'd be happy to have a go with the black to anywhere. Without a check, he's, he's actually got plenty, plenty of angle to avoid. Ah, uh, he's double kissed. Double kissed it. Double kissed it. Unfortunately. Oh well, that was still a tremendous effort from where he was. But, alas, he's still going to lose the frame. A lot of work for not a lot of joy in the end. Oh, JC trying to get a little bit of extra time just watching a shot on Bro. Obviously they've uh, had a bit of a clash of the bodies 
They're playing their shots at the same time. But it gives uh, Jace Lee a little bit of breathing space as well to reset the mind. Not bad shot from Bro there. He's extracted the black. Wasn't the greatest shot by Jace Lee, you know, just by the reaction. But uh, it's worked out for him in this case. He actually wanted to come onto the left-hand side of that black, and it would have been interesting if he didn't touch it, as the, the white ball would have bounced out quite a fair way. It's uh, secure yeah, the frame. Yeah, seeing this shot again. Lovely. Lovely shot. But still didn't win the frame from it. I like the shot Bro played there. He um, developed, <laughs> developed his ball and left a rather tricky white. Now he's just the, the long pot there, unfortunately. So Bro will be looking to play down the table at this point in time. He may even play the the red that is down the bottom of the table on the left hand side, leaving himself on the two balls to the right. And at some point, he may play up the table off one of those balls to the top reds. But it looks like Bro is going to start playing a little bit smarter rather than going for outs. I wonder if he plays a. He, he tries to just role, nudge maybe. this red here that he's looking at just a bit higher or towards and then leave the white under the other red so that Jason has not much of a shot and he's made his balls a little bit easier. No ideal circumstance. Nope, he's potted it. And he's landed... Uh, Still on a ball to the middle, but uh, yeah, he's on the ball in the I, middle. I feel like I feel like that ball was was one of his balls at a point where he could have used that play the red that's over the bottom left hand side on the table here, play that down, and this could have been one of his balls depending on how he plays these two to play up the table into that pack to have broken it out. Oh, the pack doesn't need to. If he just but gets on I the ball to the middle, that pot, to be honest, if he I just gets so. on the ball to the middle, he can go into that yellow and beyond his red. So he doesn't really need to go into that pack with another ball. I wonder if we'll see him roll this in and then take the using the other red. Well, he's going to play, he's gonna play the exact shot of the same, play this down and the red up into those. I do believe. I don't. I, don't know I wonder if he'll go into them or just trying to land on them because. He'll determine if, because generally you don't know, want that angle, balls that are on. Judging by that angle, it looks like he's going to try and play the red to the middle after this shot. So he's straight here, isn't he? Oh. Okay, now it could have could have ended up a lot worse without that double kiss. Yeah, that's true. He could have been sneaky. So, not the most ideal shot for him to for him to play, but it's still at least he can see it. Now he's so yeah he's, he's, be playing, he's, the he's playing the red off the yellow, yellow. To try and leave it over the pocket there. This is a, yeah this is a lot of trouble here for for Bro. He's behind in this frame now. Unless he plays a very good shot here. He's and he there. hasn't. Uh, now it's a lot easier to snook him. Both balls in the same position. Jason can just cover this hole here and try and leave the whites on the left-hand side of the table. And Bo will have not much to work with. You can also play the uh, yellow that's down the left-hand side as well and bounce the white out behind the yellow. Yep, certainly. So he's got a couple of options at snookers here. He can also pop this ball on the right-hand side and go into his yellow and uh, send it. He also has a nice little option here if he plays on the top side of the table there's two yellows and he plays the left the left side yellow just to knock it just over over the pocket and just sit the white ball behind that other yellow. So it makes the up and down very hard and obviously he can't go to the top of the table and across. Yeah, and the one important thing is with the free shot here, he's he would likely, in one shot, be able to kill both reds by making them awkwardly touch each other and set his yellow up, and that almost guarantees the frame. So that's, what, that's sort of why we were talking about snookers just here, but of course he doesn't have to play the snooker. 
almost looks like he may play this uh, ball that's on the top right hand rail into mm -hmm. Perez to try and promote mm -hmm. that yellow at some point. See how he's feeling? Because he still has he still has that yellow at the left hand side of the table to recover on. He can always just cover this, which is what he's done. Yep. There's no snooker there, but he's oh he hasn't actually covered it. Well, okay. Bro has the does he have the up and down? He'd have to play it with... Oh, it's a tricky shot. Tricky shot, but it's still... But it's a way he can get back in this frame. He plays, plays the angle to hit the cushion first. Yeah, so he, he, it looks like he has to play it with side because the natural line's blocked by everything. Um, and if he can hit that lower red, and yeah, like, like what he's saying there, land on that, looks like he can going steal to, the frame here. Looks like here he's lining up the no, double on the yeah. first red to bounce onto the back side yeah, of the other red. All right, let's see, let's see the back door job here, bro. This is exciting. He's had a fair attempt at it. Um, Not a great deal of results. No, he won't be but, unhappy uh, with that. Speaking of results, it Dan, does if look we can like get up. If we can get up the result sheet for those tuned in at it home, does and we'll right. run through, we've got a couple of players that have He's finished. Well behind in this frame now. I think Jason will finish these. So that's that's what Jason wanted actually with the shot he played. He wanted he covered that hole there, and he wanted Bro to remove the reds from blocking his yellow, which has happened. Now. Just before we have these games finish, I'll then read out some results. Oh, Jason has... So we have Bronson closing oh, the gap not here landed. to not become landed fireball. Bring I, I, I'm curious what he was trying to do then. Uh, he may have just overheat it. You know what's happened. But it did look like he intended to hit it that hard and it's... Sort of made his balls worse. So, just while we He's got to play this Bro cut here if he wants to continue the out. And if, he, if, he gets him, if he gets this cut, I back him to get it. Just so quickly it run, through, like run through the results as we go. So we got Bronson Blackmore and Jason Dimer at 5 all. Uh, Sean Partridge has gotten up over Shane Sayer at 7-3 win. We have Bro Shields and Jason Tanaskovic, which we are watching now, which is 4-5 in Jason's favour. It's good safety there by Jason. We have Sean Walpole and Chase Daly at 4-all. That'll be a, a lovely match for those to watch. We have Mark Owens, who's defeated Timmy Wyatt at 7-2. We have Jack Green versus Scott Fraser and Jack in a commanding lead at 6-1, at race to 7. We have Mick Norton and Aaron Kilpatrick at 4-3 at current scores. And we have Sean Durbridge versus James Reid at 2-4. Now, that is the match listings for these men's singles. I know Jack, he'll be shattered. He has lost a frame now in the singles portion. He won his first two rounds 7-0. And he was telling me and everyone how he's going to win this whole thing without losing a frame. That's not possible anymore, unfortunately. Bad luck, like Jackie Boy. Uh, not possible at all, ever, for Jackie Boy. Good play. <laughs> he's uh, had a few results, but, um, you know, he's, uh, he's coming along uh, quite as a, as a young lad. He's getting, getting quite deep in a lot of these comps that I've seen. Um, and obviously, he's getting better with, with each one as he goes. So, it'll be nice to see... Yeah, come on, Wally. Nice to see him get to Matt the results in, in a Cheering on Sean Walpole the there. Sean's been playing excellent this weekend, Matt. Hopefully he can get, the, get it done. Partridge. Sean Partridge is actually looking quite the contender. I was talking about Sean Walpole, but yeah, Sean Partridge as well. Obviously, always class. Here's Jackie Boy. He's lost the frame. He's shattered, but, you know, he got the win. 7-1. <laughs> seen the failed one cushion escape snooker. So Jason and now come back to the table here. He's oh, take ball so in hand does he have ball? Shot. He does, yeah, okay. This may be the tell-all the tell-all shot here is uh, does he run one ball down onto the other? 
or does he leave that and just play one of these balls which are in similar positions on either side of the table just to run it down to... Yeah, he's going to try and pop this one and get on this ball on the side rail, it looks like. And you'd want enough angle on it. See, his reflects are very straight. He doesn't have the angle to get over to this left-hand side rail, which is where he wanted to be next. He sort of, he made more, more sure of the pot. Which, remember, with your free shot, you don't need a pot or anything. You can set your ball up for later. Yeah, I had some uh, comments come in from Matthew Murcott, who's cheering on for the for Wally, the Wallmaster. Oh, here uh, we go. Jesus. Couple of couple of items here saying he's uh, <coughs> good to hear a couple of the comments that we're going through with the commentary on both myself and Mr. Logan Bran. Uh, but he said, "P.S. All the trash talk and super subs couldn't help your team last night, mate." Su super subs coming in winning two frames is not not very super, is it? Oh, Jason's he's gone full Hollywood here and he's landed. Wanna, I want a few more than two frames, I think. No, take, take the super subs. I'm talking about Tim Dixon who came in for a Premier Division team and won two oh, out of talking six. About, talking about that match. <laughs> still, you guys are on that match still. Jesus, that must be that must be burning in his core if he's coming on commentary days later for that. <laughs> it was last night, and he just brought it up in the chat. What else am I supposed to do? Not talk about it? Jamo was giving me uh, stick all the for stick it in last the world. night. Oh. Yep. <laughs> These guys. Logan Brand with the fans at home. Then I see. <laughs> just address the chat as fans from now on. Give yeah, a little okay. bit of a George Tierney. Okay, Fretcher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Dan is... Go to the Fretcher. Dan's a bit, you know, biased towards the Fretcher guys. Mostly because he plays for them. <laughs> Did you? Oh, bad luck, Dan. Go Dan, go Fretcher. Yeah. Right. Come on, bro. Come Jason on, on the... Uh, can, can, can we uh, issue bans in the commentary so that Matt can stop uh, giving me... <laughs> I actually played uh, in a team with Matt over the summer out of Fretcher. I haven't been to the old Fresher club for quite a number of years. I was uh, telling, telling the gents last time I was there, we, I think I might have been playing in, uh, in Sean Partridge's team. I um, can't remember who else was in the team. I remember there was Adam Armstrong, a good old Cabri, Cabri Armstrong. Haven't seen you for a few years, mate. So, hello to you. But, uh, oh, great shot, mate, bro. That, that is a fantastic, fantastic shot. shot. I can't believe he's potting huge walls while I'm telling stories. Yeah, he's interrupting. You know, but um, he's basically no, we, saying, we come watching, on, mate. I'm the star here. here. The finals are great up there. So, hopefully, hopefully the venue's still going. And for those that are, that are down there, say hello. Brunson trying to keep it a bit tight here. Oh, be nice. It was not nice. He's got to play a double. Actually, you know what? This is pretty straight. This is a straight, this. straight double, I feel. Yes, nice. He has. Straight in. What a great shot. So that, that'll, well done, that brings bro. him to five all. A little bit of confidence coming back into it. Obviously, his lost five position all. Five with all. the black ball there. And he puts that in. He will walk away with that happily. Well done, Bo. Congratulations on stealing that frame. Well, Jason made the error, I suppose, so. And he punished. Bo punished. The really nice, really nice pot there. And then a good double on the white. This is what can happen. Good players, they, they steal them back. Punishment is real. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll That's tune into Bronson Blackmore That's and Jace Lee very nice. for this. And then this was not difficult. Oh, sorry, this was not easy. He was going into the black, needed to control it, and then he got the double. Very nice. So a beautiful... Great shot by Jace Lee. Beautiful That's shot by Jace Lee. And these are, these are the shots where I'm saying, you know, potting and potting is not the end all be all. A simple simple safety like that is he's able to open up, open up the game directly after their shot. Forcing yep. your opponent to play the balls, the directions, or the shots that you want them to play. So how do you make it for your opponent 
the more likely it is that things will go wrong, which is why the safety is a good option. Because if you can see these balls full ball, you can control, set them up. They could go anywhere here. Jason could go, come back to the table with, with tap-ins. Having That's said that, he's response. played a great brilliant response shot. by Bronson. We have Jace Lee says, have your luck at this, and Bronson's response is, thank you, I will. Now cop this. Yep, he's... <laughs> That's unfortunately something that's been lost with the uh, international rules, is the, is the total snooker. And you see there how well Bronson's played that shot, where he's not needed to hit a rail, and he's able to nestle into his... To his yellow and leave nothing for Jace Lee. And now he's got a chance here. It looks like he's got an angle to go into this red on the right hand side. <laughs> uh, it's having a, a little bit of a laugh. We've got a on, great on a still pause. there. We've that should the be face. the um, that should be the face the of the thumbnail. YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get a screenshot of that, please, Dan? All right, will Bronson go into this? He's just missed it. Oh, well, he's just not got a result. So Bronson now. He can play a snooker the here. Table. He can play a snooker here. He can clip off this yellow on the on the bottom and try and leave the white under the other yellow. Pretty scary shot, that. Very scary I shot if you get it wrong. Can't see what. I feel, I feel bouncing out that yellow to, to cover that red a little bit might be the go, but he almost looks like he might be lining up just to tuck in, as you said. Just bouncing it out in front of the red a bit. And nice. that's really good. See, that's that's a beautiful touch. This uh, the um, the across shot to hit the red below the white is blocked, but Jaisley doesn't really want to play that anyway because it's a chance of clearing the pocket. But if Jaisley doesn't hit anything here, with Brunson's free shot, I fancy him to win the game. So, a lot of pressure here on this shot for Jaisley. And Jason and Bro, and Brunson and Jaisley matches a 5 5. We're now in a race to two on each of these tables. Currently mid match. And there you go. Jace Lee has missed. I doubt Brunson will be taking ball in hand here. <laughs> I uh, highly suspect not. He is having a look from that end of the table. He's just looking at what is the best way to free up these yellows. I actually almost think taking ball in hand from here might be, yeah, might yeah, be yeah. the way to go. Play in between those two reds. You take the yellow maybe off the cushion first. You play that bottom yellow into the red, you knock the red out on, on that angle so it's not in the way. There are a lot of and moving parts in, there's a lot of cogs in every shot he plays here. Because there's three balls to consider. The two yellows where they end up and the white ball where that ends up. A lot of things to figure out. So I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised to see him take his time here and figure out what to do. And we have the uh, circle of trust over here on our left-hand side. We the have Jack Green, Scotty Fraser, Mark Owens, and Logan Brand is staring at them, trying to get their attention, like he's got FOMO. That is just what are totally the boys doing that I'm missing out on? Is what Logan's thinking? Bit of bit of projection here from the uh, the booth here. <laughs> so Mark Owens has just given a challenge of Owens and Scotty Fraser versus myself and Logan. I think that's probably an easy win for them. Mark thinks he's got it in the locker. Uh, yeah, we, we mark ourselves up. <laughs> Commentate on our own game. <laughs> Play, playing for shots. Oh, sorry. Probably can't say that on the stream. Playing for uh, cash. <laughs> playing for shots. Shots down the rail. Shots across yeah, the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, what I, that's of course what I meant. Double when shots. You know, yeah, how, yeah. you know how it goes. No, sh uh, shots of espresso, of course. Shots of espresso. Yeah, yeah. 
the Irish known for their coffee drinking. Absolutely. Irish coffee, not a bad one. <laughs> Logan nearly spat in his coffee. Not for lack of taste. Now we have Bronson addressing the table here. Yeah, he played a really nice shot to get both yellows out. And now he's on rather straightforward out. So this will be one of so those outs of this, stun, stun, stun. This was a well played frame. Uh, that that, was, snooker, very that, well that snooker that Bronson played really sealed the deal. Made it very difficult for Jason to get out of. And as soon as he didn't, the game was pretty much over. So just being told, next up on the stream will be the Masters singles matches. We have Justin Allen versus Brian Daly and Michael Swift versus Graham John Pagden. They will be some great games. We will uh, be attempting to find some commentators to, to jump up on those tables. What was this, sorry? Uh, we just have the Masters singles matches. Oh, okay. Coming, uh, coming, up. Up, coming up next. Nice shot. Shot on the white. Fantastic shots. Landed very nice here. Little bit of little bit of bottom on this just to <laughs> avoid the in off it and be able to put this in with a bit of confidence. And he's cued that nicely. We'll jump over to Bro and Jason now while they rack the balls on that table at 6-5 at Bronson Blackmore's way. Bro looks like he's in all sorts here on the reds. Licorice, all sorts. So I do wonder if Ro can see that red that is on the bottom left-hand side of the two that are that are touching there. Mm. If he can, it may be it may be the shot just to come off at half ball, leaving the white ball down in the bottom bottom left-hand quadrant of the table. But he may be playing the double to come off those two reds. Looks like he's done. And he oh, has that's just put up shot. That's okay. Not bad. I don't mind that. It not creates a, a very difficult safety. Although Jason no, here, I don't think it's a difficult safety. He's just going to hit off this no, ball I on the right. Yeah. I think. I think instead of hitting it off on the on the right hand side, I think a little bit more thought pattern to it maybe to come off the top jaw and into the yellow, just bouncing the yellow out in front of the white, leaving an almost impossible escape on the white ball to the reds. What happened to the black ball tables? Uh, these are Supremes. Uh, uh, there's very little difference between the tables anyway, so... Get on the, get on the mini beers. Oh dear. Anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not so quite sure on the story for the tables. I think they got them from the AABF um, after Nationals. has played that shot, shot perfectly. Unfortunately, he hasn't bounced out enough where it's impossible to, to get out of. He has left a, a little bit of angle for Bro. Bro is going to have to be starting to create angle with extreme side here. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly by... Uh, and this becomes that catch-22. Because because of the way the white ball is How confident is he going jaw-jaw? Jaw-jaw, up the table. Okay, Bro, you are a lunatic, red. but I... Uh, there you go. You played it so well. Oh, that is really yeah. unfortunate. Oh my god, I tell you what. You are joking. He, I tell that, you he's what. shattered. That is. The world is cruel sometimes. I reckon what's going through his head right now is why do bad things happen to good people? Unfortunately, God has just <laughs> said, I will punish Bro yeah. and save a puppy. Well, so I mean, sometimes I hope, life is just not fair. I hope the puppy enjoys its life. Oh, he, hit the, he just glanced the jaw, and that's what caused it to come out just far enough to. Miss the Reds. Tremendous effort, though. And now Jason, I believe. Oh, it's like, it's, it so makes you just sick. Just missed it both oh. in and out. <laughs> anyway, That's bad a luck there, bro. By bro. A very I good effort. We'll applaud that. Still, Jason played a good safety, and he's got the reward now. Absolutely. Looking to get both of these yellows out. 
like Jason is going to be playing the reds to get the, to yep. get the movement on all of the balls. So he was trying to pop the red ball that was over the pocket and he wanted to screw into those two reds to explode those out of the way of the two, of the two yellows. I like what he did there, that was a good shot. He, um, <laughs> He's landed on this to the top wasn't, pocket. Wasn't what he was, what it wasn't what he was trying to do, um, but good he, result then. he uh, has worked out for him. He's, he's potted the only red that was potable and split his balls out. He was uh, trying to come into these reds. Oh, well, that was crazy then. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> That's crazy that he says. Um, but these are, the, these are the shots that uh, you know, we do have a crack at. They do work out sometimes, so we can't, can't complain too much with that. He still has to work at this out, which is fine. Um, Jason is certainly capable. He may pop this uh, yellow that's over the right-hand pocket here, come over onto the top rail and bounce out, leave himself angled to roll down at the table. Did you say Jason? He decided to cue anyway. it differently. No, I like it. I like he's left himself a good angle to float up here. Cut this in, float up. Unless he's got too much. I think he can hold. No, he can definitely hold. Absolutely hold. Yeah, he does. So he almost couldn't have placed it better with his hand. Oh, though he's um. This is the thing with the lean over the table. Yeah, I was, I was yeah, he, so he's unhappy about that. He didn't get as much top as he wanted there on that shot. these reds. That's all he needs to do. Have a go at this yellow and don't I don't know that he does want to avoid these reds. I, th I feel like I feel like coming off the cushion with the white ball, assuming you've got the pot, you want to come into these reds. Um, hopefully you're coming into them at least half ball on the top side and then holding the white ball up above the reds for the black. Looking at the overhead, it looks like he's going to be missing the black and the reds and then hitting the reds on the way back that's, which makes that's it what you very want. likely that's to what you snook want. well it increases the chance you can snook it himself so he's landed really bad here so he comes up with uh, that must be on actually down to the no he's no, played a safety safe, yeah. that's, that's not a terrible safety either great shot Jason the reds Grobe will be looking at smothering this yellow if possible. Yep, and just uh, running the white ball further up the table towards the middle pocket. Hopefully not in it, but towards it, and snookering behind the red. It will bounce towards the yellow. If he can find the line so that the red he's hitting and the white are going on the same line, then he's likely to get a very good snooker here. Or is he going to play this red that's closest to the white and bring the white ball below the line of mm. yellow? Wonder what he maybe, is maybe what he's looking at. Masters, Peter Kennedy versus Jared Johnston, table seven. Can you please take your pair from the stage? I wonder what he was trying there. Not too sure. I would have thought if he was if he was Trying to play a safety, you would have left the white ball down onto the bottom rail there. But maybe, maybe he was trying, attempting to come into that yellow with the white ball to essentially to hit it out. Yeah. Yeah. But as it is, it hasn't quite worked out the way he wanted. <laughs> and no, not quite. It's about to be six five to Jason. <coughs> There we go, both matches on the hill here. 6-5, yeah, 6-5 six five, six five on both sides. Now we have a uh, Mr. Sean Walpole who has just walked over with the iPad, which generally means he, he has defeated taken Chase the Daly. win. He's defeated Chase Daly. We've seen uh, quite a bit of a lift out of Sean Walpole for, for this week, which has been really good. So Sean Walpole has just said he uh, he locked in, he dialed in for that match. He was last yep. time we looked, he was four. Oh, he looks like he's buzzing, does Sean? Absolutely. He's going around telling everyone how he's going to win please, the tournament. Please now. test him for performance. Honestly, enhances. I believe him. He takes uh, free workout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Jace Lee with a chance to come back. Come back here, make it hill hill. 
he may cover this hole. So this this break is uh, detrimental for Bro here. Because uh, I wonder if he's taking the cover there. No, nope, he's potted it. He's played the pots. Which is so a very nice what's pot his by plan Jason. for the black? I wonder. <clears throat> and he has scratched the white ball. So this, you can see the yeah. drop of the shoulders by Bro. He's he's very disappointed well, on that. Jason has just missed, and this is a huge chance for Bronson to take the match. So I wonder if this red in the middle is on to the left middle. If so, I reckon that's what he'll play first. That is certainly on, my friends. Just a slight little touch of stun on the white ball, but I do have a feeling he'll play the red to the right-hand side middle and then play mm. that red down into the bottom left-hand pocket. He may use the black to hold for the other red. It looks like he's going up the table if he plays that ball to the right middle. If he goes too far, he won't be on the ball into the black, and that's the hardest ball to get on. That's why I would say if he's on this ball to the middle, he'll take it. Yeah, he's, he's going at the table there. Not far, judging by the angle on the other camera. We almost leave him. No, he is taking this on. And just lull it in. See now he's got to now he's got to land rather. He's got to be careful. He doesn't have much of a window to land in to actually be on this red that's below the black. And that's why I thought he would take the ball to the middle while he was on it. A risky shot. I uh, I do feel like he was going to hold the white ball a little bit better than he had. So now he's going to be utilising. Utilising two cushions here, surely, just to bring the white ball anywhere above that yellow yeah. to be able to play across the table. That's what he's aiming for, and he yeah, has... And he's just missed it, so that's great. So he looks like he's landed really good here. And just, it's still a little bit touchy to get on the black. A little bit tricky, but... Oh, uh, uh, no, actually, it I'd, looks I'd like almost, he can screw I'd, under it. I'd no, he looks like he can screw under it. He's fine here. Based on the angle, I'd almost, I'd yeah. almost even use the angle to yeah. possibly even come. That's a very good shot here. Come actually, across the table and land high on the black. Actually. Now that I'm looking at it, the on yellow's way the further away from the black than it sort of looks on the screen here. Which he has done, but he's moving himself fairly straight. He will double this though. This is uh, this isn't a difficult double for this man. For the match, decorated black ball player has played over at the Worlds in Brutlington. Got to ask the, the question. Worlds in Malta. Does he want it? the double for the match, obviously, for Bronson. And he may have got the triple no, back. didn't want it. Oh, well. So Here we go, six all is what we want. A right, fairly simple and out by Jace Lee. Stun tap-ins from the bottom yellow to the Has second to go yellow red just above. Surely on the left-hand side. Talking about Bro Shields and Jason. Jason on the reds, yep. There's the very nice, the reds over there. I can't see JC chopping this up, so. Nope. Let's see if Jason finishes this out. Interesting, yeah, these two balls, these two reds um, below, the, at the bottom end of the table, he wants to deal with them now if possible, and he's played a really good shot there, he's on this. Oh, Jason, Jason and, uh, has made an error Jace there. Jason has certainly overcooked this, as Mr. Dan Lynch has politely put. And we're back. So we're back with watching Chase Lee having a huge shot here. But uh, may he run? May he play the double? No. And he has played the pot. Left himself a big black. And now here's where... This is, this is where the pressure comes into it, ladies and gentlemen. He's 6-5, uh, knowing that if he pots this, he goes to 6-all. Which I believe it may even be his, his break next, possibly. But uh, he's gotten down on it with big a shot lot this. of conviction. Real big shot this. And he's oh, he's absolutely he's it in. smashed it in. So that is really, really well deserved to go 6-6. Six, six. Even Bronson was clapping the shot. Um, Very you know, obviously, shot. these players have known each other for quite some time. So they... Uh, this Jason, is... Uh, he'll, he'll at 6-all. Now, Jason, he's really just got to 
If he misses this yellow, he'll be on the red. See that lovely? And skewed that and beautifully. This looks like left himself a lovely it. angle just to just to float down to a black into the bottom right hand pocket. Let me just have a look at the screen and oh no, he's very straight. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't have as much angle as I, I think thought. he's very straight. Oh maybe he's actually got a little bit of angle. Yeah, he does. He can come up a little bit, and that should be good enough. Got a bit of angle. All he needed to do is be on it. Yep. <coughs> and uh, watching his queuing, he'll put this away. Certainly back him in here. The janitor. The janitor about to clean up. Otherwise, get the buckets. Bronson's starting with his cup break. And it's hit the center Jason of the hole. Jason put it in. Well, well played, played by good Jason. Pot. It was a very good match there. Both players played very well. Jason was just came out on top in the end. So we will focus on uh, the exciting match of Bronson Blackmore and Jace Lee Dimer. It's six all here. Yes. Bronson is addressing the table at his break. Well done, JT. Yes, well played. Next, Wayne Williamson and Finn Walton, table 15. Can you please take the tag from the stage? Uh, who, who broke? Did we see the break? Uh, who broke? Bronson. Sorry, Bronson broke. Okay. So Bronson is currently on uh, the Reds for a dish. So Bronson, with quite a bit of experience in the break and dish, he plays in the online tournaments. Yeah, absolutely, he does. And, oh. uh, as I said, that commentator's curse. Mm, well, that's well. It's the well, last. Well, it's six all. Anything all can of, happen. All of these shots, all of these shots are harder, harder, especially at this point in the in the match. Now, what we're likely going to see is uh, this game is going to tie up entirely, and. Look, both both players both players have got a very good B game. They've got a very very good safety game. Bronson is very strong in his safety game. Certainly, uh, Jace Lee, I would consider more of a potter, but um, certainly certainly he uh, has a very good safety game. Whatever you do, don't foul here. And he has. She has, and this is this is going to be the tell-all start for Jason. Yes. Almost, almost, maybe not go ball in hand here. Yeah, and, uh, he's in a good spot now. Yeah, where the two yellows are, are close to touching each other, there you could use that yellow to to pump into the rail and knock out the other yellow towards the right hand side of the table. Uh, moving the red also down towards the bottom rail. So I'd be interested to see where he where he takes this. But I do uh, wonder with ball in my, hand. My breakout here would be using this ball. Um, less below the two girls so that he's having a look at. With ball in hand, he could put the white on the side rail, hit the top yellow, and then come off the rail into the other one. I don't mind that. Slightly under hit that for, for one yeah, of the yellows. Yeah, he's, he's still left one yellow blocked by the red. Looks like he's going to try and break it out it. here. He's going to cut this in and move that No, no, he could. Never mind. Sorry, that just looked completely different. That's okay. How it was. That's okay. Just judging by the angle, he uh, doesn't look like he can. How doesn't, hard doesn't is this? Look like how he can hard is that yellow that to yellow the in. middle? I don't think. Very tough. This is yes, a very I tough think shot. It might be deceptive. Might be deceptive on camera there. It, uh, the the yellow is gettable to the middle. It's a very hard shot. Oh. Uh, you can see it there. He's obviously oh, just and trying now to. It's yeah, right out. A little mm. bit unfortunate there, so you're probably going to see a tie-up on, yeah. on this game once again. I wonder he, what is the uh, best way to secure the frame. To secure the frame, I think here, this yellow that he's looking at, he can uh, stun off that yellow and sit the white ball behind, uh, sit the white ball along the rail, which blocks him from the two reds on the left-hand side. It blocks him from the reds in the middle of the table, and also the black blocks him from the right on the right-hand side. No, he's got other ideas. But he's still... Uh, it's one of those things where he's potting balls for the sake of potting balls. It's like, where do you pull up here? Looks Should like right here. This looks like a double kiss if he tries to double it. Yeah, so he's just so played the bunt out. 
I think he was just trying to play, he was trying to bump it out, but I think instead of going into black, I think he was trying to run up the table and go into the yellow and move that more over the pocket, blocking the black on the top left hand pocket. Well, Bronson's got a big chance here. It's bit, it's, I mean, he, he failed in his last visit, so he would be over the moon to come back to the table in this position, I believe. He's just going to try to hit this ball just below the middle, I think. If he does, I reckon he wins. Oh, he's missed the pot and he's missed the red. And he'll, be very, he'll be very just upset. Just like that, that, just like that. Now the tables have turned. May as well keep his insurance policy on the bottom right hand corner now. That's, uh, he's got two dead reds, his opponent has two dead reds on the left hand rail and yeah, a dead red on the right hand rail. Certainly, he can also just trickle through on this ball to the middle. I would be absolutely going be, up the be table. Just to the right the of the blue spot and then you'll have natural angle to roll in the other yellow to land on the one on the side rail. Just like that. Oh, he's, he's missed it to the middle. Oh, no. This is what, uh, this is what happens at six holes. and butterflies at six holes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. He's not a shot that Daisley would ever miss normally, so. Thank you to the lovely commentaries at home. They're uh, complimenting <laughs> on the commentaries. They said they won't do it in public, so we'll call them out on stream. So thank you for the uh, lovely comments. <laughs> Logan Bram, AJ Marshno, will uh, be here all day, all week. Yeah, since we're not good enough to still be in the tournament. Yes. But, you know, they say those who can't do teach, and those who can't teach commentate. So that's why we're here. And those who can't win here just uh, sit and watch everyone else, unfortunately. Um, happy to support Brunson I know Jace Lee's missed that ball but he's still in control of the frame Brunson really needs to make something happen here he has a very hard ball to deal with below the middle pocket and another very hard <laughs> ball to deal with blocked by the yellow this is going to be one of those ones where if, uh, if Bronson takes on the out here and he does clean this up, it is very, very well deserved. There is a lot of work that will go into it. The only way I can really see is if he screws back, doubles the red to the so left-hand yeah. bottom pocket, I think, I think and then cuts see, the other one down. I think what you'll see is he's going to play this down to the bottom left-hand pocket. He'll break the, bright, the red on the right-hand side rail, is what he's aiming for. Oh, that's... That is chaos. And he's on the ball in a minute. Uh, I, I doubt JC will. Actually, hmm. You've got to think here. What is the best way to do this? Best way to do this, mate, is uh, you may may take ball in hand. Do you know what I like? Put it on no. the ball line. Do you take know what I like? Ball in hand, take it on the ball line. So here's why I disagree. Off this he was perfect on that red to the middle. Drop that in. And then he's on the, this yellow to that pocket. Stun that in. And then he would have had Rollins. As it turns out, he's got Rollins anyway. I like what he did. <laughs> Alright, he looks comfortable. Three. Oh no, he had wrong, wrong angle there, but still fine. Still fine. He's, he's obviously feeling confident of playing yeah. a long black. No, I think he's going to get close to it. And he has. Bounce, 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 bounce. And that did trouble. very nice shot. Have black ball, will trouble. Okay. Good frame in here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so we won't even Good comment frame on, in the on end. how that could have ended. That was... Uh, and well played at the end here. to the fellas, Bronson Blackmore and J.C. Dimer. J.C. Dimer takes the win at 7-6. We've just witnessed two brilliant matches. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.
Thank you very much, we'll, uh, Logan Brand, for joining me in the commentary. AJ Marshall, we will uh, be on at later stages in the night and through the week. We are going to sub ourselves out now for the Masters singles. So uh, enjoy that.